I think it's going to be very difficult for the president to deliver exactly what he has in this proposal. Um, the good thing about this president is he used to be a senator. He understands that's not um, everything that uh, it, when you propose something as the president, you should expect that it's going to change. There's a lot of opinions on that finance uh, committee in the Senate on how we should tax international income. I think you're going to see a lot of those finding their way into this bill. But remember this, the progressive community is really disappointed. They would have liked something twice as big. So he's getting pressure from both sides. Senator Gregg, are you still, uh, you, you're okay, right? I mean, uh, uh, double that amount is what the progressive side wanted. I, I take it you have trouble with both sides of the ledger on this, both the amount of spending and how it's being paid for. Why don't you take those one by one? Well, first off, the infrastructure part of this bill, legitimate infrastructure spending is less than 25%. It's, it's about 500 billion, which is a huge amount of money. Uh, and it should be done, most of it. Uh, but you don't need the extra one and a half trillion or more. It's put on top of that for walking around money for democratic constituencies, political correctness ideas being pushed, or industrial policy. Uh, it's basically money out the window. You're taking, from a tax standpoint, you're taking money out of the productive side of the ledger, and you're spending it through the federal government on things that obviously uh, may be nice and, and feel good, but which probably aren't very efficient. And in fact, we've got a pretty good history of the federal government being a really lousy manager of the, of the marketplace uh, under the Obama administration, of course, we had Solyndra, which cost the American taxpayers $500 million. This is going to cost the American taxpayers about $1.5 trillion. And so it's a little hard to justify. And you wonder what they're thinking, basically. I, I understand that they won the election. They have the right to do what they want to do. But in the end, this is going to dampen significantly economic recovery. It's not going to create jobs. It's going to create momentary sugar highs but as a practical matter, when you start hitting the productive side of the economy with that much tax re tax obligation, and they, ironically, they call it savings now. It's, it's not even a tax increase. It's called savings. Uh, and then you spend the money on things which are highly inefficient. Uh, 1,000 1, windmills in the middle of the ocean? I mean, uh, what, what about the poor birds? You know, I mean, uh, poor Rachel Carson must be rolling over a grave. We're going to have a silent sea. Uh, you know, how inefficient is that? It's really well, a problem. I, I, I think Do the, you want to respond? Yeah. I mean, I, 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 I want you just to, I mean, it sounds like Senator Gregg could, I don't know, get into or somehow have some support for the infrastructure part of the bill. But there's so much in it that, I don't know, you could argue is not infrastructure. I think there's going to be a ton of debate about what constitutes infrastructure in this country and what doesn't. Um, you know, you have to look to the future. You cannot simply say that, oh, if it's a road and bridge, it's okay. But if it's broadband, if it is uh, making sure that our power grid works correctly, if it is, in fact, building green infrastructure, you just had a whole section before this about this green wave. And just remember this, when you talk to the American public, they desperately want corporations to pay more or especially those corporations that have foreign income, that this is going to be a political bill as much as it is a spending bill. And when you look at public polling and you look at the last four years where debt and deficit didn't seem to matter at all about the by, by the Republican Party, I think it's going to be awfully hard to justify a concern or complaint at this point. And I think these are truly investments in America and an attempt to equalize and make the tax structure fair. And so, you know, we'll, Senator, we'll see who wins the political debate. We have to be concerned about debt and deficit. I do not um, discount that at all. But I think we also have to be concerned about the kind of debt and deficit that you pass on mm -hmm. when you don't maintain your infrastructure or build for the future. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.